Hi right, everyone, it's um weekly preview. It's the 30th of April. Getting into some real action as we go into May. I've got quite a few events here to mention. Um, starting with tonight actually in Spain, Continental Tour at Huelva, um, where I noticed that Philip, Philip Ingebrigtsen is in the 1500. Um, and Jimmy Grecia and lots of other top ones, so there should be some fast times out there. Um, that's the one of the Ingebrigtsen brothers there. I don't know if it's a bit of a comeback, but he's been out for some time. Also, from British point of view, Charlie Wheeler and Zach Mohammed going in the 5,000 metres, and Nordas from Norway, and Michelle from Spain also in that. Um, might be able to find that online on Spanish Athletics YouTube, something like that. So worth worth a look around if you're at a loose end. Tuesday night, that's tonight, 30th of April. Then on to a Wednesday night, we've got the latest in the Watford Open meetings, which are always good. And it's great that the weather's in, seemingly improving this week. So that'd be good. Noticed amongst the entries, always worth having a look through the entries, which are on roster athletics, where results go up really quickly. Kai Malanga is entered, who's, um, yeah, I've been in good form last year, over 800 particularly, and um, should be racing over 1,500 um, tomorrow night at Watford. Then on 3rd of May, uh, it'll be on Runner Space, which is the same subscription as Vinco, Oregon Twilight Meet. I've just tried to find some, some of the entries there. Always worth looking out for. Should be some good, good performances. The Oregon Twilight Meet is all generally... Um, some races set up for the home-based athletes out there and then uh, we're into the weekend where this road race there's loads of road races going on there's the Cardiff 5k race for victory um, going on on Saturday the 5th no Sunday the 5th of May uh, and then the great Birmingham run is also on Sunday the 5th of May can't find entry this for those, but loads of other road races going on. But um, perhaps the main event in the UK are the British Universities and Colleges Championships, uh, the Bucks Championships, which take place in Manchester, start on Saturday, go through to Bank Holiday Monday, three-day event. Uh, all the info is on the Bucks, Bucks website. Looks like there's live stream all three days on the Bucks YouTube channel. Um, some good quality entrance in all the events, 800s, or oh, on the women's side, the 800s, fastest for athletes, there's a few around 206, see that entered, 1500, 409, Alex Millard, 410, Sarah Calvert, uh, Millard's actually entered in the 5000 as well, uh, where she, her and Amelia Quirk have 1527 PBs, and then the 2000 steeplechase, 644 is the fastest in that. On the men's side, um, 800 looks pretty tasty. You've got David Race, who's a 147 runner. So is Justin Davis. You've got Oliver Dustin, um, who we we mention regularly, who runs around 143. And we've got Jamie Webb, similar calibre athlete, um, trying to break James T's oldest athlete in the championships record, I should imagine. It's Jamie seems to have been going to the Bucks Championships for many years now. Um, he'll be competing for I think, Loughborough. And the 1500, we've got uh, 342, Tyler Billiard, Jeremy Dempsey, Duncan Robinson, Sam Charig, Ben McMillan, who's done 340, might be the fastest entrance there of the entrance. Um, and then the 5000, got Cameron Allen, who's done 1342, but perhaps the favourite will be Will Barnicote, who um, European under 23 cross-country champion um, he's run 13.45 but I think most people believe he's capable of quicker than that and the steeplechase should be good we, we've seen some battles between these two before Tom Bridger and Luca Minali have done 8.47 and 8.45 respectively if you're looking at seeing when they're on on Saturday you've got 1500 metre heats about half past 10 in the morning 800s about 20 to 3 in the afternoon women's steeplechase heat at 10 past 6. Then on Sunday, you've got the men's 3,000 metre steeplechase at 10.50. 
Um, you've got the 800 semi-finals starting at five past three, 1500 semi-finals starting at 345. And then on Monday, you've got the men's 5,000 um, first thing in the morning, 10.30, I think. Then you've got the 3,000 steeplechase at 135. That's the final, the men. 800s at 20 to 3. 5,000s at 3 o'clock for women. And 1,500 at 10 to 4. Um, that's men and women. They're, they're lumping the 8s and 15s together, men and women. And, you know, so you can... You know, watch those particular times of the day, which is quite good. Um, and then on Monday, we've got the Bannister Miles at Oxford, Ifley Road, Oxford, a celebration of the, what is it, 70th year of the four-minute mile. Uh, we've got the likes of Kai Malanga and Beth, Beth and Morley going in the women's race. Looks like... Um, some Meslek, James Young, Michael Wilson, Joe Tuffin, Jack Gum, and many others in the men's race looking to break four minutes in the mile. So that's what we got. That's this week. Um, hope you have a good week. I'm going to because the weather gets better. We've got a Tunbridge Open meeting tonight, which I'll be filming. Um, yeah. Fingers crossed for a good week. <laughs>